Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Darkwood. We are finally going to the train track in an attempt to find. Oh, I went too far. In an attempt to finally talk to the doctor, which I knew he was in the train track the whole time. I was right. And I'm mad that I was right. And it took me so long to actually get into there, into there but I knew I was right. God damn it. But here we are, back into the track. I wonder what the hell he's doing in here. It's almost like his mental state might not be entirely valid. Valid. Entirely secure. There. One of those words. All right. Let's open up that journal. Where is... Oh, wait. No, it's an item. Uh. Whoops. Code. 8517. All right, Doc. Let's see how this turns out. Hey. Hello. Hey, doctor. Don't come. Oh, no, no, I'm coming. Hey, buddy. You see what? How the turn tables, huh? How the turn tables? Oh, my. The doctor is lying against the train car's walls. His face is covered in sweat. An intense odor of alcohol hangs in the air. God, he doesn't look that great either. That haircut. Do not come close, you rotten dog. I won't give you the key. Can't you understand? I saved your life. Technically true. You'd rot away in that clearing if it wasn't for me. You owe me for fuck's sake. That is not quite the case. Doctor moves closer to the wall, grotesquely kicking his legs against the floor. You think I don't know who you are, rat? I've managed to get a good look at you. Your kind visits us whenever you please. You hide behind the trees, watch us from a distance, and then disappear. I think no idea. You have no idea how it is to live here. This place, these woods, everything is fucked up here. I won't take it anymore. Do you understand? I won't bear the look of those deformed, reeking bodies anymore, nor the cries of those wretched villagers. First they begged for help, now I need to hide from them. I'm just an ordinary doctor, how the fuck was I supposed to help them? How? The silent, his face now hugging the wall of the train car, looks truly pathetic. Can you hear it? It's the walls, they speak to me, my little girl is calling me. I know she's waiting for me, I must come back to her, she's so close. His voice breaks down, I want to go back home. He is my only chance. Help me escape this place. Help me or kill me. Well, he's definitely crazy, but he's sympathetic crazy. Even if he beat the shit out of me. Right, he doesn't know where the entrance is. That's why he wanted the key so bad. Well, he it might bite me in the ass, but you know what? I'll help him. Entrance. Doctor stares at the map for a long while without lifting his gaze to meet mine. Thank you. He removes his dirty glasses with a trembling hand and freezes. I will wait for you there and better take the essential things with you. Looks like returning here will be impossible. Oh. Ah, uh, so this is one of those take what you can now because you won't get to come back. But well, luckily for me, I think I have everything I need. The rifles, the ammunitions, the watch, the board, and a bunch of uh, stones for the trader. So I think I'll be fine. I think I've actually got everything I really need. Shotgun shell, so on. Yeah. Damn. Well, I guess it's time to leave this godforsaken map. And I am not in the slightest upset. Oh, right, this doesn't... Oh, shit. I forgot that this thing does not stop an enemy attack. Okay. This is not good. Oh, shit. And 
knife as a it's an ambush they placed a shiny stone there to ambush me bunch of assholes yeah you know what screw the sickle I'm going back in there to grab that shiny stone and I'm out Shiny stone's 130 value. That's worth it, considering. Stupid savages. Bunch of dickheads. Trying to ambush me like that with a cute stone that I can give to the trader for 130 value? The trader's gonna be so happy the next time he sees me. He's gonna be so stoked. And here we are, back in the underground entrance. Doc. Try to kill me. Uh, we're gonna have a real problem. Way back, maybe it may prove impossible. No, I know. I think I have everything I need. Or at least it sure seems like I have everything I need. Wasn't there a chomper down here last time? I should be careful. Let me run my way through here. With my flashlight. As long as I don't hear a scream or a chomper yelling or anything like that. No, I think I'm good. Yeah, I am good. Hey, Doc. Are we going? I guess we are. Help. Let's get in there. Ask the doctor to use the key. Have I finally escaped this god, this horrible map? Now what waits for me here? Oh, is that? Oh, it's a backpack. Two flares and a torch. That's fine. I have a, I have a flashlight, and I have batteries for the flashlight. Damn, it's just like this long tunnel. This really long made tunnel. He's running that way. He can't. I think someone's still moving there under the rubble. Are you baiting me? Oh no, someone is moving. Man. Okay. Okay. I stumble upon something under the rubble. A strange, soft item. That's horrifying looking. Tunnels collapsed recently. The reinforced steel protruding from the debris has not been covered with rust yet. When I gaze in the tunnel, I notice the silhouette of a man on the ground. Yeah, right, right there. The man snaps to life as if woken up from a deep slumber. Who goes there? I hear a faint, unnaturally distorted male voice. Are you, are you one of them? Ashley flailing his limbs around as if his back has been glued to the ground. He's trying to retreat. To get, back, to get back to my family. A huge talking tree has blocked the way out. I begged to let it pass, but it wouldn't listen. I could not understand what it was saying to me, so we came here. Back of the neck. I can't get up. Yeah, it looks like he's, like, being held down by the tree itself. Oh. My stone. I hear sounds of an eggshell cracking. The forehead bends under his hand. The stranger pushes another finger into the hole. A thick goose spoos from the wound. I he can hear his skull cracking. My little stone. This finger's in the hole. A colorless ooze drips from them. He's holding something. A round object. He swings his left hand, throws the object to me. A small, regular ball bounces off my arm and lands at my feet. It looks like a bullet, but it's soft. So he was shot in the head. This is what put me to sleep. But he's alive now. The 
doctor ran away. The doctor fled. He got shot in the head and I guess the thing reanimated him. A big sign on the door reads closed area. Rusty iron cowbell. Rotten mushroom. And a torch. Oh, that music doesn't... Okay. This music doesn't want me in here. At all. Something's in the water. Something is in the water. I just wanted to pass. Return to my family. Okay, well, something is keeping people from passing around here. And it's something in the water. Jesus. They took the- they decided to crank this up to 11. Oh, man, I can't see shit. Okay! Okay. He just wanted to pass. That's all. He just wanted to pass. What is that? Growths. Examine. Some strange organic growths. There's an eyeball. Okay. Okay. That's fine, I guess. A shiny stone held to a wooden cross. Dry body of some man, only skin and bones covered in roots. They are surprisingly well preserved. There's a small hole in his forehead. I'd say he's been lying here for two years. Okay, so a lot of people are being shot when attempting to pass. I see. Okay. A lot of people are being shot. Not the doctor. He couldn't get out. So someone else is shooting everybody. And then they're being reanimated by whatever is going on in these woods. By the tree or whatever. Okay. That's fine, I guess. Jesus. Some weird stuff. This is a weird game. This is... Yeah, Poland? You got problems, Poland. You should see someone. Anyone. Why are all these Eastern European games so depressing? Oh, chapter two. How many chapters are in this game? Oh. Okay. Chapter 2, this is a much smaller map, though. The Swamp. Broken compressor. Used to refill oxygen tanks. I should be able to fix it. No, I need whatever the hell that is. This is my hideout. Uh... Strange organic black shell. I won't be able to... Uh, Molotov incoming! Okay. Uh, that does not work. All right, there's, there's some other way to, there is some other way to work with that thing. Doctor, the hell did you go? Wardrobe, matchsticks. It's covered in a thick layer of dust that no one uses for a long time, but it smells of it smells of warm plastic and burnt wires. <sighs> Hello, oven. It's been so long. There's more growths. There's my workbench over there. 
The dead dude. My generator. Gas tank. In the gas tank will release the gas under high pressure. Well, I'm assuming. Oh, uh, this map is outdated. It must have been prepared around two years ago. They have changed considerably since then. Moreover, it's so ragged, it's barely readable. However, I think I can make out the position of the cottage near the junkyard and the village with that tree. Day one, 13, 15 hours. The compressor is broken, so the, the lock on the trap door leading to the underground had to be blowtorched. I had to use a blowtorch. Fucking moisture. Day two, 1,200 hours. We took 45 photos of the tree from its observation point in the vicinity of 3C. It grew twice in its size in the month, really quick, even for the local standards. Day two, 15, 20 hours. I'm slowly running out of oxygen. I've sent two in to search the nearby junkyard. Maybe we won't have to go back for spare parts with the compressor. Watch out for the cottage near the junkyard. Someone could be living there. Day two, 18, 12 hours. At least 10 locals lurking between the trees. How do they know about us? We won't be able to gather our equipment in time. The risk of being detected is too high. Need to evac. So this was like a like a military patrol or like an excava excavation group or or something along those lines. There's more stuff I need to pick up, but I, I gotta put my stuff in the uh, in in my workbench first. I still need those pliers or whatever. Okay, honey. Okay, I, I'm glad I can just finally get rid of all this stuff. Toys, stones. Uh, nails, boards. Actually, I might need those nails and boards later, but I can finally put all this crap away. Thank God. Ooh, I have an axe now, too. Lamps, lamps. Locked, I need a key. Hmm. So they're hiding something in there, apparently. So the map, there's the cottage near the junkyard, and there's the village over there, which has the giant picture of a tree. That scared me, and I don't know why it did. Maybe because I didn't think it would make a noise. It made a noise. Alright. The knife and the flare. I'll put those away. Grab the gas tanks. It, so, hitting the gas will release under high pressure. So, I can I can use these as, like, explosives or, or bombs or something. Wardrobe. Nothing in it. That eye opened up again. This place is definitely more fucked up. Lots, lots of more trees. As far as a hideout goes, it doesn't feel very safe. Let's just put it that way. Wow. Okay. So I need something from the compressor. I need. To, I'm gonna need to barricade a lot of windows and doors. Oh shit. Exploding barrel pick up. Okay, more exploding barrels. More things to place into my area. Uh, I should probably build this well. Or repair this well. Oh, I am injured. I didn't even notice I was so injured. Was that what was walking in the... Huh, makes a weird light source. Was walking in that area causing me to be injured? That's very strange. Okay, time is actually progressing, so I should be careful. What in the hell are you? So strange. Village to the right, cottage near the junkyard to the left. This map seems kind of small, so I may not need to worry too much. That should be fine. I can just make my way over here. Perhaps I was getting in, I was hurting because I was walking in the swamp. I'll have my shovel. It's like a weird... Okay. Okay. Okay! Crows. Something must have scared them off from the huge tree covering the, the village. There is something 
touching or eating something over here. Yep, there's something inside the water. A doormat with flower patterns. God, I can't see shit. Locked, need a... Door seems to be blocked from their side. <laughs> that mushroom man! That mushroom man! Okay. This place. This place already sucks. I don't like the swamp. I I already do not like the swamp. Or also, oh, it's blocked from this side. Oh, I just have to move it. Okay. Okay, it's got a weird organic. That chomper has a weird where the hell did it go? What? What? Why? Uh, where? Ouch. Okay, this is just getting worse and worse. Corpse. Pills. I'll take pills. Bread. I like bread. Bread's bread tasty. Bread yummy. Well, ain't I lucky? What did you hear? Every day I hear him more clearly. Yeah, buddy? That's so. Um, that, that's, um, that, that's a corpse. That, that was a corpse. Corpse was talking. That says open, not touching that. This is, this just all kinds of fucked right now. All kinds. I don't know where I am. This gigantic maze is horrifying. The enemies hurt very badly. At least I can eat some wood. Delicious. Delicious wood. Okay, that's, that's, all right. Now there's a bunch of writing over there, and I need another lockpick. And there's a well. Oh my god! Fido, Fido, stop it. There, that was a, that was a dog house. It was a dog house. Uh, I thought that was a well, but that's just a big ass hole. <gasps> yes, 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 yes. Pliers to upgrade my workshop. A lottery ticket. Ooh, sex A. And fabric for a hot bar. Wait, do I even have any more hot bar? I don't know. Who cares? I, I don't, I don't know the, the key to that crate. Um, I have no idea what's going on. Like, I am lost. 
Who are you? Cripple. Talk. Okay. 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 Yeah. He is crippled, all right. Oh, my. He is gross. Wait. Bloody hell, you're alive. The old man extends his hand, blindly trying to reach me. You're not from around here, eh? You cannot be. Hmm. All them lads are dead. It's only me. Me and... Finally grabs my arm and grabs it. My hand is silenced, then I hear mumbling under his breath. I don't have anything, mate. Only this this chair, bloody hell. He stops somewhere under the leaky barn ceiling. What am I saying? Ain't no fucking tree that. It looks like a tree, but those faces, I know them buggers. Every single one of them. So close and so fake. They're not real. From time to time, I thank God I went blind. I don't have to look at him. Oh, he's blind. Oh, I thought he was just hobbled. Back at the chair, he sighs with relief. It disgusts me. It fucking disgusts me. This buggery, this fucking scum. All the time I've listened to its pathetic blabber, complaining all the time as if I were supposed to believe it's human, that it's me, Zoka. Yeah, right. You lad, you've got your hands and legs, strong arms. I beg you, get rid of that filth from my village. I can't bear another day of that abomination wailing and sobbing. I want to die in peace. Fucking hell, I want to die in peace. A lot of time I think, besides wine, his are milky white. I can feel them climb on my coat. You need to find the basement, the Syx basement. I remember it, it's right next to the tree tree is too large so if you can't reach it from the top you have to try from the bottom from the find the basement and there surely you'll find the tree's roots the bloody things ha must have roots that's where they are destroy them pull them drag them twist the fuck out of them you'll find a way a eh? i know you will the old man slides down my coat straight into his destroy wheelchair for a moment he searches for his stone she uses the problem himself up against the muddy floor of the barn thank you thank you The road, the road home. What a load of bollocks. The road of madness is what it is. What are you going on about? Scaling the wheelchair. The war took me legs. And those wankers burned my house and me pigs. It was years after the war. They said it was by the disease. So they said, my Zoka disease took her from me. I have this wheelchair and this land. All right, I already know that. Cut off. People went crazy from hunger. I can find some wheels. I can fix this chair. Everyone is dead. Sometimes I hear footsteps. They wake me up at night. It's on a bare feet against the floor. It's like a bloody nightmare. He talks a lot. Uh, there are people going home. World has changed. Monstrous moaning abomination grows out of the ground. So he just really doesn't like that fucking thing, huh? I don't blame him. I want to check out more of this area, but I kind of can't, considering that I, I'm running out of space in my inventory. Before you leave, please see if you can do something about the tree. Right now? Go to the basement. It's just next to the tree. Ugh, but I have so much stuff. I got even more mushrooms. Buddy, I'll, I'll come back. I'll come back for the tree, man. I stepped in more. I stepped in more gross stuff. Oh, God, who are you? S sir? Oh, it's the doctor. He what happened to your face? What, why is there a circle on your head? Why do you look five times worse? Oh, is that just mud and, and like the swamp? What do you want from me? Put me in the firing squad for desertion. I'm not going anywhere with you. I'm too close. It's too close. I'm sure someone's waiting for you too. Ah. I can trade with the doctor. Embryo, weapon parts, and tape. Well, I'll take the embryo, but I have to give him something have the alcohol. I don't want anything from you. Well, then I'll drop it. I'll talk- oh wait, whoops. I'll talk with him more in a bit. I'll drop- actually, yeah, I'll drop the damn alcohol. Fine, I'll drink the damn alcohol. 
I want you drop. Drop, damn it. Trade. Give me the embryo. Thank you. Alright, I'm going back to my house. Oh, I can't run. Well, that's not good. De human spiders. That is far from an awesome idea. That is that is a terrifying idea. Human spiders. God's sake. What the hell? And they were horrifying. They were really scary. Let's get back to here. Let's put our stuff back in the oven. And the rest of it in the workbench. We have... We can upgrade the workshop if we just get a few more wires. And I can also upgrade my hotbar, which is awesome. But just a couple of wires and I'll have enough. Put the pliers in there. I'm assuming the medium caliber bullet is used for the hunting rifle. There's the rags. I'll put the embryo in here. Let me go stick all this stuff inside of the oven. Because I think we might get another really weird dream sequence again if I do that stuff in the oven. Oh, yeah, we are. Oh, yeah, we are. Okay. Healing eyes will be less effective. My accuracy will decrease, but I will deal double damage in melee when close to death. My vitality will increase. Once a day, I will become invisible to enemies if I stay still. I'm doing vitality, and I'm going to do healing items. I have enough wood. Ah, uh, no dream sequences. Uh, blue ballsing me like that, Darkwood. Not cool, guys. Not cool. I wanted that dream sequence. Light. So that's how you do that. You use light to get rid of it. That's... That's scary. Oh, jeez. Oh, Jesus. No, not a fan. I gotta use light to burn away the terrifying stuff and then go from there. Nope, not a fan of that at all. I wonder if this thing will help, will help me with that particular light. Yeah, it's almost time for the night. Might walk out just a little bit to see if I can find anything interesting, but if not, then... Well, oh well. Ooh. Bear trap. I'll take a bear trap real quick. It looks like it's time for our first ever, first ever night in this place. And I am not in the slightest ready. I am going to place a bear trap somewhere, like over here, maybe. And that's basically all I can do. I have no idea what's gonna what's gonna happen. But by golly, am I going to be stoked when the trader comes back? Because I have some stuff to give him. And that'll be the next episode of Darkwood. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.